to falsely characterize the state of Israel is consistent with those, let's be clear, it's consistent with those who advocate for the dismantling of the one Jewish state in the world. And when there is no place on the map for one Jewish state, that's anti-Semitism. And that was Congressman Ted Deutsch on the House floor yesterday, slamming fellow Democratic lawmaker Rashida Tlaib, who had voted no on legislation to fund Israel's Iron Dome defense system. The congresswoman had previously delivered remarks accusing Israel of apartheid. Let's bring in our next guest, Mort Klein, National Director of the Zionist Organization of America. Mort, welcome to the program. As we listen to the congressman words here, it was a stunning rebuke of someone in his own party. What What's your reaction to the congressional lawmakers who voted no to fund the Iron Dome? Because the Iron Dome only defends Israeli lives, this means those who voted against it, including Omar Tlaib, Pokan, uh, and others, are simply saying they want Jews to die. Because this is a defensive weapon. It hurts no one. It only defends Jewish lives. What's troubling to me is that the Democratic Party leaders, Pelosi, uh, Schumer, Steny Hoyer, have not condemned these anti-Semitic members of the Democratic Party by name and urged punishment. What should happen is they should say, we are going to throw you off of every committee you're on, you're an overt anti-Semite, you're a bigot, you're racist, and we want nothing to do with you. That's what the Republicans have done when they've had uh, people of this nature, and the Democrats haven't done it. So. That's very troubling. I might add, I'm even troubled by Jewish leaders have also refused to name these people by name. Omar, Tlaib, AOC, Pocan, Presley, Jamal Bowman, and others, and demanding they be punished. My organization, the Zionist Organization of America, ZOA.org, is the only one naming them and saying they must be thrown out of every committee. America should not tolerate this type of extraordinary anti-Semitism when they're saying we don't want to fund a, a, a missile system that only saves lives. That means they're saying, we want Jews to die. It's just an outrage that this is happening in the United States of America. You would expect this in Iran or Iraq or Syria, not in the United States of America. Israel, of course, a major ally, uh, a democracy in the Middle East here. I want to switch gears and talk to you about the company Ben and Jerry's. Uh, normally, you'd think ice cream would be a bit of a lighter subject. But we're learning that the company, Unilever, came under fire for halting sales in the West Bank and essentially endorsing a boycott of Israel. More than 10 states in the United States, of course, saying they will sanction the parent company, Unilever, including Arizona, Texas and Florida. Uh, those three states recently taking the steps to do so. More talk to me about ice cream and how it relates to Israel and why there's such a controversy surrounding it. Well, we've sent a legal demand letter by our attorneys, Tuckman and Bernie, to Unilever, demanding they override Ben & Jerry's. They own Ben & Jerry's ice cream. They can stop this, but they refuse to. We're saying that this is uh, harming Unilever's uh, ability to sell ice cream, their reputation, and their stock price, which has dropped 10 percent since this boycott was enacted. Uh, they've already lost co kosher certifications in various countries. And many states have said they will no longer buy Unilever products and they will no longer buy Unilever stock. That includes, by the way, Breyer's ice cream, Dove, Hellman's, Vaseline, Klondike, many Unilever products. And, and the reason they should override this is Ben & Jerry's, which they own, is not following the governance rules that is controlled uh, by those who are owned by Unilever. They're supposed to obey state laws. State laws are against boycotting Israel. They're supposed to not discriminate. They're discriminating against the Jewish state. And they're also supposed to be truthful in marketing. They're claiming Jerusalem is an Arab city, when in fact U.S. law says this is the capital of the Jewish state of Israel. The majority of people living in Jerusalem for 200 years have been Jews. They're claiming that the, Arab, uh, that the land of Judea and Samaria is stolen Arab land. Palestine has never been a country. It's just a region. And the, even the name Palestine is a Roman name. How can this be Arab land if it's named after a Roman, uh, 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 use of a Roman name? And what's amazing is here they're condemning Israel for alleged human rights violations. And yet they sell in China, which arrests uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of Muslims and puts them in prison. 
Iran, which murders protesters and gay people, Syria, which has killed almost a million of their own citizens, Ben and Jerry sell in these right. vicious human rights abusing countries, and yet they're uh, only boycotting Israel, which is a human rights loving country. Yeah. And they're defending a regime, by the way, whose, whose emblem is what I'm showing you. Mm -hmm. That's a map in the shape of all of Israel with an Arab cafe over all of Israel, Yasser Arafat and the Kalishnikov rifle. Yeah. This is a terrorist dictatorship, and this is who Ben and Jerry's is defending. It's an absolute disgrace. They're simply an anti-Semitic uh, ice cream company, as far as clearly, anyone's concerned. Clearly a controversial uh, ice cream brand, as you point out, and clearly express your frustrations with us. Mort Klein joining us on the program. Mort, thank you. Thank you.